I want you to join me to wave your hands to the Lord of hosts and expect blessings from God. Today, Father Lord, we wave our hands to you on this 12th day of February 2023. We stand in the power of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9, as we reflect on the wisdom of God, supreme wisdom. And the Bible says, had they known, they wouldn't have crucified the king of glory. They never knew. Because this king of glory has started in verse 9, that he is going to give us what no eye has seen, what no ear had heard, or what has entered the mind of any human? What God is packaging for those who love him. Do you know God is packaging something for you? Somebody here. Get ready to receive what God is packaging for you. God is getting something ready for you. Are you ready to receive what God is packaging for you? In Abadiah 17. He says, and you will possess your possession. Are you ready to possess your possession? What God is packaging for those who love him. Are you one of those who love him? Do something for him. I said do something for him. Do something for the Adonai. Do something for the Elohim. Do something for the Ejire. Do something for the Amutara Kabi. Do something for the lion of the tribe of Judah. Do something for the Eucharistic Jesus. Do something for the blessed sacraments. Do something for the creator of the human race. Do something for Emmanuel. Do something for J-E-S-U-S. I say do something for the J-E-S-U-S. Somebody warm up for the J E S U A. Warm up, warm up, warm up, warm up. Iya ya na huru bero. Ukenti na ano. Ukona bano bi madu. Iya chuku na kwado bere ki waneba. Over iya chuku na kwado bere madu. Over iya chuku na kwado bere madu. Over iya chuku na kwado bere iya no na kuku ki. Over iya chuku na kwado bere ki wa chuku. Over amar chi ona kwado be. Iya bana chuku kwado bere bi e marama. Ona me ye de kanya wa. Chuku aga ki ye ki ye yiri chuku. Likes produce likes. Okay ye ki ye de kanya wa. Over iya chuku na kwado bere ki wa chuku. Umikuku. Ayo. 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 Whoa! Oh, oh, la 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 la! She never gave me any words at all. In a cool year, can I wear a young? In a wear a young, in a bad young one. Oh, you catch a man, eh? Catch a rat, oh yeah. My kid told you can I come here? Me go on Sunday, no on Sunday. I am an Umuchibo, is unique and Eto China Cadendo. I'm a direction minister. Iyana Hunubero, Iyana Hunubero, Iyantina Nubero, Iyantina Nubero, Iyabia Mother Nature Nubero, Bayerea, Cocaca is the Chito Cabia Mana, Quadabere Moa, Oyakona, Quadabere. 
Oh, what are you doing now, Father Beregi? Where are you, Kenebea? Each of my car, you are much good. Thank you, Lord. After many years of barrenness, she delivered the blessed. Thank you, Jesus. I get the powder one. Omero baye bulaga, oga na ya nga na nga o. Chau. Eshuka, eshuka. Chau, chau, chau. Oya ko mero gare ya. What you know I have seen. What you know I have seen. Iya ya na huru bero nezi no no. Na bato bigi ni ugu ni bigi. Na kugu na mi bigi ni ne. Iya na metu bigi neji me. Oh, yeah, call game, Mera. I'm a boo, where did you want to? I'm a boo, where did you want to? It's a daddy. She make a yak and egg. You go, Mera. I am a hunubero. I am a hunubero. I am a hunubero. I am a hunubero. I am a well, I want you to begin to imagine what it looks like. What your imagination cannot even conceptualize. Oh, what about all what is the body? What about all what is the body? Oh, I got the good must wedding. Edward. Oh. I don't care what your enemies are thinking. I don't care about the situation in town. I am talking about what God is planning to do for you. Oh, beyond the reach of human imagination. Beyond human conceptualization. Beyond human mental rationalization. Beyond emotional feelings. 
beyond the physical concepts what God is packaging for somebody thank you Jesus made by God made in heaven made in heaven made in heaven oh are you man out I'm not on mafia I'm not on my God 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 Get ready for it. Get ready for it. Amen. Hey. 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 I have She went back on Guadia. What is the one way? I'm gonna go to the house. What you know I have heard? Now, has this entered the mind of any human? What God is forgetting for those who love Him? In the name of J E S U S. Amen and amen. We stand in second reading of today. Twelfth day of February 2023. To decree and declare in First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. That God is going to give you what no eye have seen, what no ear have heard, what no mind had conceived. From the beginning of creation, God is busy. After He created you, He started packaging things that will make you a livelihood. Worthy of testimony. Yeah. All these things he packaged for you, he is going to unleash them upon you. Yeah. One am I trying to tell you? Better and best moments are yet to come. Yeah. After we have passed through these hurdles in this contemporary time, after we have passed through these man-made wahalas, because, of course, the troubles in Nigeria, all of them are man-made. They are not going to long last forever. Hamandrika we baby. Uso buni ne we no boda bo madi jaka jaka ya me. Mankendi ana achimere mankendi na achimere. Ihe gobere. Ko bodo joronjo seiko to akponko. Ni madu na ajozi chukwa no sekwa. I am standing to tell you that God is still alive. Amen. Psalm 46 verse 10 says, Be still and know that I am God. But I want to tell you that when all these things might have come and passed, God is going to unenvelope. He is going to Unmasquerade. 
He's going to reveal. That's what we call the fact of demythologization. They are like myths. The veil that covered this city is going to be unveiled. In here, Mary and Mark, chapter 15, verse 58. Mark 15, verse 57. Mark 15, verse 37. Mark 15, verse 38. Now, Amaro Mundira, where are you from, John? Kechi Obodo. Gain to two by a by any better. Mark an hour one source in a first Corinthian chapter two, verse eight. Abruna Hama Hagaye Babu Ezen Kotito. Had they known, they wouldn't have crucified the King of Glory. Hagaye Bu Ezo Tito. Makanoya of the wisdom of God Himself. Emmanuel, Yesu, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Philippians 2, verse 10, you see, He has been given the name above every other name. Philippians 2, 9, verse 10, you see, Verse 11, see, And all the tongues we confess that Christ Jesus is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. He is the King of glory. Had they known the should they shouldn't have attempted to crucify him? What am I trying to make out of this? Fellow Nigerians, in a time like this, those who are crucifying the king of glory should be careful. When I'm talking about the king of glory, you may be thinking I'm talking about Jesus again. Philippians. Chapter 4, verse 4. Says, rejoice. I say to you again, rejoice in the Lord. Even in the time of persecution, tribulation, attacks. A time like this, Paul was in the prison, writing to the church in Philippians. Rejoice. Because sorrow attracts sorrow. In Bido Rujo, but that we hear Rujos. Ne won't go on. Oga fia race a we born, na John Odua. How can you tell somebody to be rejoicing when the person has taken all his or her money to the bank and the bank has seized the whole money? Okay, give me the new one. They said that there's no, no paper to print the new one. What type of rubbish is that? If they don't have paper, let them tell the students to bring their papers. Oh, you have to put the a printing price. Can we be taken off if they are not ready for such policy? Why should they start it at all? They shouldn't have crucified the King of Glory. When I'm talking about crucifying the King of Glory, you may be thinking I'm talking about Jesus. I'm talking about Jesus in another way. In the book of Acts of Apostles chapter 9, it was on the way to Damascus that Saul was galloping upon a horse. Nigeria. You are crucifying the countrymen. Now, as Paul was galloping, Saul then, he was galloping. He was hastening his pace to go to Damascus and kill and annihilate apostolic ministry of Jesus Christ. On the way down, there was a voice from heaven. Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Why are you crucifying me? I don't know the target audience for this type of ill-gotten action. Ill-timed bomb. What is happening to the Nigerians now, I call it time bomb. 
deadly time bomb. But those who started this policy, both the president and those around him, even the, the CBN people, they must explain why they must have such idiotic courage or audacity to punish the whole Nigerians, telling us to be, to be patient. We have to pass through this for things to be all right. Changing occurrence is not part of the Nigerian problem. I am reasserting it again. Maybe you heard the first one I said. It's not by mistake. I don't drink. When I say anything, I mean it. Why are you persecuting our children? But I am telling them, if they had known, they wouldn't have crucified the king of glory. Nigerians are the kings. They are the embodiment of God. God in us. Made all divine. Every reasonable human being in this country, and even unreasonable ones, are crying now. The rich are crying. The poor are crying. Why dare you make a policy that will be killing the people? Are you assassins? Why should you want to leave the government with a mark of wickedness? If you don't know it, know it, Mr. President. Unless you revert this policy. Not just telling the people to submit the old fund, the old currency, blah, blah, blah. How many years ago did Saludo change that old one? How old has this one lasted, the one we are changing now? Changing our currency as if to say you're you are changing rapper. <laughs> you don't care who is dying. In a political time like this, in an election time like this, you want to cause trouble to whoever will be the next president so that nobody will see the person as they do well. Because the havoc this policy has caused it will take not less than 90 years to recover economically. Mr. President and the people in CBN just started to create hunger, famine, wickedness, joblessness. If you know how many businesses that are going to die before the end of this policy, Many companies will fold. In the midst of unemployment, cashless policy is a good one if the structures are put in place. But the structures are not put in place. You just started roofing a house. You have not laid the foundation. Where do you want to pack the... the Oh, Jesus. The property of the inhabitants of the old. You knock down somebody's old house when the new one has not been built. It is the analogy. Somebody says he doesn't want you to live in this old house again. And he knocked it down. Come into the new house. And you came and saw a foundation with a roof. Foundation. One block with a roof on it. Even if you're a rat, how will you enter? Do they think Nigerians are fools? God is giving you people time. If you don't stop this rubbish, you tell somebody how much you can take from the bank. Somebody's own money. Somebody suffered and suffered to get money. It is now a sin in Nigeria to get money. Because once you get it, you can't take it back. Nigerians have lost confidence in you. It doesn't matter how many people are clapping for you guys who made this policy. They are deceiving you. And this country, if you are not careful, will collapse on you. Do you know a country can collapse upon somebody? You are increasing the agitation. 
Of course, what they have done now, whoever begins to agitate, the country people will begin to clap for that people. Any group that begins to cry now, how can somebody enter the bank to take money for a, pe a, 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 a wife in the hospital? Because many hospitals cannot receive this transfer. Because many transfers are now fake transfer. Somebody will give you in POS 5,000 and take 2,000. The CBN told the whole people that they have pushed money to the banks, to the commercial banks. The commercial bank managers are afraid to tell the truth. They are not receiving any money. Many commercial banks that used to receive 20 something million, 40 millions for uh, ATM in a day are now receiving not more than 1 million. Why do you punish everybody? Mr. President, you are not the owner of Nigeria. CBN governor, you are not the owner of Nigeria. The owner is God in heaven. Adonai Elohim El Shaddai. Allah himself is involved in Nigeria. You cannot be punishing everybody and you are telling us lies. How long do you think you will live to enjoy this, your idiocy? The change of currency. How many millions or billions or trillions do you think you will make? And how long do you think you will live to enjoy them? And everybody is dying. In one of the films, I saw a man naked in the bank crying. A married man with children. Rendered naked in the bank. Do you know how many people are dying every day? Because before the doctors begin to treat you, they must see the money. Some are insisting on cash. Give all the cash and it must be a new one. If the new one is not available, allow everybody to begin to use the old one. But they have succeeded in taking even the old. The old is no longer there. The new is no longer there. Please, this is not a thing to beg you. If you want to repent, you repent. The presidency, the central bank, is not a matter of saying that the Supreme Court doesn't have the jurisdiction to do what? We are not talking about Supreme Court. We are talking about heavenly court. Your, your case has been taken to heaven and God is not happy with you. Somebody want to buy simple or mono in the market. You say do transfer. How? In the villages, there is no network. Somebody who is selling pan wine, you do transfer in which account? Do you know how many people you are killing? In America, where we, there is cashless economy, London, all Europe's, they first and foremost did what should be done. They did the need for. It is a good policy, but it cannot be built upon this kind of Nigerian structure. It is an iniquity to try it. Don't wait until you use gun to kill people. Many are dying. You go to the village chemist to buy simple parastamol. They said transfer. New money. New money. Where is the new money? People who have no jobs, they will go to do all that broker. Can they mix the sand and cement? Oh, you know what? They go check in and say, see, a transfer. Now, which account? And I all of you all a big dog. Yeah, me go mark. I get my my money. And the leader should hurry. They should hurry. Because even the military, let me reveal a message to Mr. President and his team. Even the military that they depend on to be used to clamp down on the poor citizens. Are the military people not citizens? Are they not suffering the same? They are going to reverse. They will join to attack you when the time comes. The country will collapse on you. Even the policemen give them new guns to use to shoot people because they need their money. 
These are not thieves. So somebody worked hard to get money and put it in the bank for safety. Please give me my money. I need it for something. You give the person only 5,000 naira. How? You should rather make the policy so juicy, so enticing, that people will even prefer to do cashless transactions. For example, for example, when computer was introduced, we are people forced to throw away their typewriters. It took time. Now you cannot find a typewriter anywhere. The thing just vanished by itself. When the best comes, the old will just bow out. Everybody was using lantern and candle. Nobody was forced to use bulb or electricity. At a time, nobody will tell you that the smoke will affect your eyes. Time is the best healer. This is coup. What the president and the central bank people did is coup upon the whole Nigerians. From the spirit of God's courage, I am speaking. You may not give it the name, but I'm helping you to give it a nomenclature. It is a dictatorship. This is out of democracy. What do you want to achieve? And why must it be now that you are going out? If the policy has been so wonderful, you ought to have started it. Two things at a time. Changing of currency and cashless policy. Not just one. No, no we are coming to that one. The one you are seeing is even change of currency. You have not started seeing the cashless issue. Where somebody will die and the children will want to go to buy a casket and the casket man will say cash, cash. So we then now a go from as he can be transfer assembly. Because most of the transfer, the moment the person goes out, the money will bounce back. Fake transfers. Many POS things, they are no longer working. Some people will go to the filling station, they will transfer money. And the, 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 the filling station people will not see the money. And the money has gone out of your account. You can't recover it. Let them set the systems okay. If they now introduce cashless policy, everybody will embrace it. Villages where there's no network, you want to introduce cashless economy there. Do you know what they did? The presidency and the CBM team have just launched a very wonderful brand new vehicle. Vehicle without reverse and without brake. Omar Chamoto, Mota and Amantoho. Manowara brake and the world reverse. You know where it started on a one way speed. Omar is a real bus or tunnel. A way traffic, it cannot reverse. Omar Chamoto. Never a break, never a reverse. Because pride will not allow them to reverse it. Pride is already involved. Or casting it to the wood to the area, a whole presidency. You better reverse this and enjoy your lives. Because the anger of the whole Nigerians go to the north. They are boiling with rage. Go to the west. Yeah, or Go to the west, the Yorubans. The, the, their leaders are holding them. Come down to the Igbo, to the south. A time is coming when nobody will hold anybody. At that stage, the country will collapse on them. I think Mr. President and the, the CBN people, they may not know that what they are praying for, collapse of Nigeria. 
The Bible says it well. That the money answered all things. You don't joke with people and their money. People and their money. What sin did Nigerians commit that will deserve this kind of punishment? When there had been joblessness that created this insecurity. All these years, there have been joblessness. Our graduates, our youths are idle. They are doing nothing. Yet they are ready to work. Many are running out of the country, those who have the opportunity. In spite of joblessness, the little ones that are doing something are now losing their jobs. You are talking about agriculture, agriculture, agriculture. Who can do agriculture without money? How will you feed the, the animals in the farm without buying food for them? Very soon, it will hit everybody. A time is coming when people may not have money again for offering and buying even the Eucharistic species will be a problem. You go to read that sign here, Kabul and Sobu. Maybe you are going to be on a soy oven and see that you are going to be on a soy oven and see that you are going to be on a soy oven. You are going to be on a soy oven and see that If you look at the faces of Nigerians, people are not happy. From morning till night, people will be at the ATM waiting. Two days, people will not touch their money. And they'll be telling us lies at the TV that the money is everywhere. Which money? Who are you telling lies? Somebody has not eaten food. You tell the person, tell everybody I've eaten very well. The person will be stupid to tell such a lie. Only the truth we shall tell. But they should remember. Only God can be God. People are praying. The Muslims are crying to Allah. The Christians are crying to Jesus. Others who are not in Allah and in Christianity are crying to whoever and whatever they believe in. That they are not happy. Mr. President, why should you leave that seat with the anger of the people? Even those who loved you in the past have started hating you. Come out from that place and walk around the street and see the faces of the people you think you are leading. A hungry man is an angry man. And the time comes when you cannot hold a hungry, angry man. It can lead to insanity. A married person with six children in, a, in the north some of them may have to something children. So 5,000 naira you will be used to buy which kind of food? For how many people? Even if it's in Madume, how many in Madume will 5,000 buy for how many people? And if this lingers to the next one month, People will be walking on the way and you see people slopping and dying. It has already started. Many youths committing suicide. Somebody's visa is expiring. Give me the money to pay the agent. He said, no. Transfer. Get the environment ready for that. It will take time, and everybody will key into it. In the past, there was no bank even. Gradually, gradually, people started putting money in the bank. Small, small, small. Nigerian problem is not Naira problem. Naira is not part of our problem. Our leaders are our problems. You cannot tell for them back to keep quiet. Because the people I am leading are as a shepherd. I am a shepherd of these people. And I'm watching my people dying. They can't go to the hospital and pay for their medication. They can't go to the market 
and buy simple obono, simple manu, simple akara. If you buy simple bread, will you do transfer? To which account? What a horrible policy. In the history of Nigeria, this is the worst policy ever. Who do you want to punish? If you know anybody whom you say is corrupt, arrest the person and interrogate the person. All Nigerians are not corrupt. You were the name of the Nobio. And their patients are exhausting. Their patients are exhausting. There's a limit to the point you can push people. Otherwise, rebellion may be the order of the day. Many have decided if they will die, let them die. And you put a limit to what people can receive. Okay, give me the new Naira. There's no new Naira. Okay, if there's no new Naira, what about the old notes? The old ones, they have not changed. The five Naira, 10 Naira, 20 Naira, and 50. And 100, this one should be everywhere. Stop killing Nigerians. Mr. President, repent. If nobody has the courage to tell you this, I tell you, the land you are living in is rejecting you. If you don't change as soon as possible. Or you don't want even an election to be done so that in the midst of this crisis, something else will happen. Maybe they are not planning for election. Forget about what their neck is telling you. There must be election. Those who have their PVC and they are living in the north and they want to come down to the east for the election and there is no money for transportation. Are they not already disenfranchised? How would they come and vote? The northerners who are in the east that want to travel to the north to do their voting, but there's no money because there's no fuel. If anything should lack in Nigeria, it should not be fuel. It should not be oil and gas. We should have oil and gas at every corridor. It is a curse. It is a shame. They have disappointed Nigerians. Let them cover their faces and come to apologize and revive these dirty policies that will collapse Nigeria on them. Listen. A day before I left to the monastery, I was in the temple worshipping the Eucharistic Lord and the message came. It was a dream. It was a trance. It was a clear midnight vision. I woke up trembling with a fear. What did I see? Bullets. People are spraying bullets. Confusion everywhere. Because that I was praying for peaceful election. Because I thought I would not come back until after election. I said, by the time I come back, may God give us good leaders. And what I saw was gunshots. People were running helter skelter. The police were on the roads. The military were on the roads. People were running. I don't know why. People were angry. Gunshot here and there. Many left their houses running. May God save us. May God save his people. If they had known, they wouldn't have been crucifying Nigerians who trusted them. Even with all the military people in the barracks, 
Would I be able to kill the whole Nigerians in one day? It's just a matter of respect. A woman be watching the children dying in her face. No money in the house. Once more I say it. If you are not ready to produce new currency, why do you now tell people to bring the old one? You should have done it gradually. And the people will clap for you. CBN governor, you have failed this one. Saludo came and consolidated all the banks. The only miracle in all this is happening is the foundation Saludo laid. May God bless him all. That every bank has gotten enough to pay all the depositors at any time. So if anybody is telling you that the reason why they are mopping the old money is to pay the Chinese the money they are owing, it's not true. Because you're going to pay the Chinese with a dollar, not with a naira. They can carry our oil. They can do other things. You are not paying them with our naira. Okay? That's why everybody is worried. Why this policy? If anybody is not needed to win the election, you know how to make it happen. Not punishing the whole Nigerians. Even a day old child is suffering this. The cry of new babies will affect you. You may have billions and trillions packed abroad, but God may not allow you to eat it. That is why the first reading in Sirach chapter 15 says, I have given to you life and death, fire and water. Sirach 15, 17. Choose one. Hey, Dr. Ngundu, Dr. Ngundu. Hello. So our leader should choose one. If they need life, they should give life to the people they are leading. Don't tell me you need, yeah, everybody is being helped. Very soon they will tell everybody to pack their vehicle and begin to use a plane. Because that is what is coming to be. Very soon they tell you stop walking on the road. Everybody should fly to the airport and a plane will carry you to where you are going to land. New policy. Nigerians are not spirits. They are human beings. The people of God will run to their priests. Father, I have no food to eat. But the Father's store is empty. We prophesied this two years ago. Nankata agu nejibu nkato yinye. This is, is a prosperity time. Oh. A hunger time is yet to come. Please hold yourselves. Hold on to God. Cling on to God. If our leaders want to die, let them go and die. But I don't want you to die because of this policy. A time in the future, after we have suffered and suffered and suffered, things started getting better. Tell your neighbor, don't die before things begin to get better. <laughs> Tell him. <laughs> Who shall we run to? Nduka, Mara Bakute Fara, Fana Mara Jabe Bishop. Bishop, Bagamara Jabo, yeah? Okay, Bepo. Okay, Fever, okay, Joe Koga. Look at the margin products are costing in the market. Civil servants who are receiving 30,000 naira in a month, some 20. What is the cost of one bag of rice? Huh? Huh? 42,000. One bag of local rice. 42,000. 
than somebody is paid 30,000. Ingredients not inclusive. And the man is a family person. We don't deserve this wickedness. Our leaders should take care of their subjects. They should take care of their subjects. God is not happy. Look at what happened at Turkey a few days ago. How many thousands of people died in, we are buried alive in earthquake. There is no earthquake in Nigeria. But now there is central back earthquake. There is a Sorok earthquake. Presidential earthquake. I know they will not be happy with this face where they hear me speaking. They will say, why should he come back from the monastery? He should go back to the monastery. I am not going back. Inshallah. Why I am worried is that if care is not taken, many Nigerians might have died before they will change this ugly, nonsensical, satanic policy. If you will believe God, you will stand firm. Be resolute. Continue to abandon the words of God. Your labors will never end in vain. In 1 Corinthians 15, 58, please, fellow Nigerians, it is pouring in all the 36 states of the country. No human being, apart from the wicked thieves, who have gotten enough to spend, is enjoying what is happening. This is increasing iniquity in the land. People are beginning to do what they shouldn't have been doing. To make money is not good. Salvation of soul is at stake for we who are so winners. The souls we are about to save are vanishing and languishing in our very faces, in our very before. Once salvation of souls is at stake, every other thing is at stake. Salus animarum. How do we preach to hungry people and continue to tell you by next week it will be okay and they managed to sweep all the old monies? Okay, give us a new one. You said no. We were, they didn't ration the amount they took in. Now they are rationing the amount they are going to give out. What equation? Is this simultaneous or quadratic? Is it a physical equation, an emotional equation, or financial equation? They may not know. The president may not know. He's praying for a coup without knowing it. He's insinuating it. The nascent democracy is cracking in his hand. <laughs> Praise the living God. Because go to the barracks, the army people are crying. Their wives are crying. At your mama put, it will be transfer before I give you food. They say, no, give me food first before I do transfer. And he say, what of if after transferring you don't give me food? He say, what about after giving you food? And you don't do, you say, what? My guy is rich in Hawa. Nah, I go carry Let them reverse this thing. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. 
CBN governor, you are trying to solve quadratic equation with simultaneous formula. You can never get a correct answer. This is a square peg in a round hole. It can't fit in. Don't tell us they are doing it in America. They are doing it in Finland. They are doing it in all parts of Europe. Is Nigeria like all these countries? We are still battling with water to drink. No water to drink. No electricity. No food. No hospital. No quality school. No good road. You can't tell us to begin to live like them. Put us in a good position like them. Our problem is not Naira. Then what about fuel? Why can't you make fuel available? How can people leave their houses from morning till night in a coup to collect fuel? At what price? At times, a liter 450. At times, 500. Mr. President, Nigeria has collapsed in your hands. Sorry, it's coming from my mouth. So, however you want to interpret it, I don't know. But I'm trying to tell you that God in heaven is not happy with you. Life and death are just opposed. Choose life and live, or you choose death and you die. The anger in the lives of Nigerians can bring a curse to the generations of all those who brought these policies. Very soon, lecturers will stop going to school because they will be in the school to collect their fuel from morning till evening. Students will be in the classroom waiting. Very soon, doctors will not attend to their patients because they will remain on the school from morning till night. Very soon, many men of God, priests, would even visit their patients for sick calls because there's no fuel to go for sick call. Even to go to money masses in various stations. Very soon, when people are dying and they are being killed by unknown gunmen, you call policemen to come. Policemen will not be able to come because there is no Fuel. The policeman who has to go to the filling station to collect fuel. If there is a conflagration, a fire outburst, the fire service people, would they use water to put in their fuel tank? They will not be able to go to extinguish the fire. They will go to collect fuel and they will cook from morning to night. And because there is no fuel, the fire must have done a lot of disaster. So in emergency time, no fuel. You are asked to come and save somebody. You can't drive. There's no fuel. Those who are fuel now are managing it. If this thing continues and there's no explanation, how much do you think you will have to fill your tank as for all? Remember, hunger is breathing. To buy your new boy in the market, they said do transfer or new money. <laughs> to buy it one toilet tissue, they said do transfer. <laughs> People can help you to use your newspaper. Future way, to your way, na Toilet, uh, all you can create in the plumbers. <laughs> so, but there, allo, allo, amen. So one day again, hello, man. Do you know how many people are developing high blood pressure? The way it stands now, do you know both the rich and the poor are equal in the country now? Can I get a couple of 
Everybody is going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Everybody will suffer it. The people of God will suffer it. Men and women of God will suffer it. Tight accounts will suffer it. Offering accounts will suffer it. In the mosque, the imams will suffer. The priests will suffer. There is an untimely bomb. And they call it change of a new naira. If you hear change the new naira, Allow the people to draw the much they can draw. But now you say you can't draw more than this. I cover myself because I know they will never understand this the way God wants them to understand. Satan will ask them, pursue for Mbaka. Attack him. Mbaka is a problem. He has started talking again. He has started talking again. Anyway, we will hear him. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. I cover my people with the Holy Ghost. Many are getting insane. Alan are presenting mad. Confusion everywhere. High blood pressure. In the morning to night, parents will be thinking, how am I going to feed my children? How are we going to feed these children? You'll be watching your children crying. You can't feed them. There's no money. But you have money in the bank. Give them their money. Give them their money. As I told you, the analogy I'm giving to it is, get it well. The owl or kite that enter the fish pond and carry the fish up to the high mountain and come again and carry another fish to the high mountain and carry another one. Some people ask the Ikwikwi, oh, why are you carrying the fishes out of this fish pond? And he said, I'm saving the fishes from being drowned. That is saving the fish from being drowned in the... That is how the presidency and the CBM people want to save Nigerians and save Naira from being drowned. You catch it? Huh? bank. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the time will come, even the bankers can't go to work again. At that time, how do you fetch your money? Oh, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to house to house. Then how do you reach your money again? Total confusion. Please let all the meaningful people in this country go to Mr. President and the, the central bank governor and tell them your policies are barbaric, your policies are satanic, your policies are cancerous, your policies are deadly, your policies are anti-democracy, your policies are inimical to the integral well-being of both human and the divine. Both the northerners, the southerners, and the westerners. That 99% of the countrymen said no to this year, odious, unhealthy, barbaric, time bomb policy. <laughs> Call me anywhere. I will stand my ground to defend my people. 
My people cannot be dying and I'm hiding so that nobody will misunderstand me. It's better that the so-called leaders will misunderstand me than that the God, the Holy Spirit, whom I'm representing, misunderstands me. And now he has asked me to speak, I must speak. Do your worst, God will do his best. You may not understand it. Salary of the whole workers, public civil servants, are static. And presence of things are galloping up and up. Is there any policy to meet up the needs of the people? Meet the needs of the people. Stop killing the people you should be taking care of. If you don't have the solution, resign and bow out honorably before God will put you to shame. If Nigerians are weak to fight for their rights, God is staying strong to prove that he is able to make the impossible possible. Remember how he dealt with Pharaoh in the days of old. Remember how he dealt with Herod in the days of old. Remember how he dealt with Nebuchadnezzar in the days of old. I don't want to go further, but know that when Goliath came as an unconquerable military whatever leader, little David, mess him up. The anointing of David is with the Nigerians. I bless you, my people. And I continue to tell you that God is packaging something for you. What you know I have seen, what you know ye have heard, nor has it entered the mind of any human being, what God is packaging for you. Oh, you know, they may not give you Naira, but something greater than Naira is coming to you. Stand up and claim your own. Oh, what do you carry there? Go now, Biarage. Oh, what do you carry there? Go now, Biarage. Oh, carry new currency. Oh, now, Biarage. Oh, carry fuel. Oh, now, Biarage. In Acts 17, 25, he's the one who gives us life. Hey, and everything. He will give you no life. Even when new currency is lacking, God will give you new life. When you cannot get fuel, he will give you the oil of anointing. And in Isaiah chapter 10, 27, the anointing destroys the yoke. When in Strike chapter 15, in verse number 17, he had juxtaposed life and death for you. Choose life or choose death. Choose fire or choose water. Will you choose life or death? Those who have chosen life, lift your hand and shout life. Because in Psalm 16, verse 11, his servant is well. He says, and he will show you the path of life. Amen. Okay, go again, Ozon Kendo. Oh, yeah, now back. Go again, Ozon. Chinek, I am Harando. Give life to the fellow countrymen. Even when our leaders have decided to crush us and mess us up, Father, give us life in Jesus' name. I stand in John chapter 10, verse 10. When the thief has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy, Jesus Christ has come that we shall have life and have it more abundantly. My people, receive life in abundance in Jesus' name. Makari, Masandari, Mashekete. Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? All those who are being persecuted here, who are being troubled by the forces of darkness, who are being troubled economically, who are being mesmerized emotionally and even physically, I'm lifting my hand of life for you. For in Psalm 91, season, my God will satisfy you with long life. In Psalm 118, verse 17, I declare and declare and pray, pray with me, I shall not die. I shall leave. I am not hearing you. I am not hearing you. I shall leave. Ah? I got you my own. I got my dendo. I got you my own. I got my dendo. Kedonia got dendo. I want you to go. I want you to go. Kenerem chineke. Oye ne ye madendo. He will satisfy with long life. And in Hebrew chapter 7, 16. What will he do for you? He will give you the power of life that no one can destroy. 
Those who are the verge of being dead. The Bible says in Psalm, Psalm 79, 11, even those who are already appointed to die, the Lord says he delivers. May the Lord deliver you in Jesus' name. In Psalm 33, 19, he delivers you from the power of death. And in Psalm 49, verse 15, he delivers you from the power of the graveyard. May life ever now be your portion. For in Psalm 27, 13, you, you, say I, I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Put it well, I must see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Can you tap your feet on the ground and shout, I must see the goodness of the Lord? Warm up and declare it. Declare life. Rimba Sakata Moshe. What no eye have seen. The kind of life no eye have seen. Miraculous life. Ablent health. Wonderful life. Healthy life. Rimba So that in Psalm 128, in verse 6, you will live to see your children's children. You will see your children's children. He got in though. We're home, 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 okay? Riba Sakata. Now landed in though. You are my God, okay? Now her J E S U S. I am a Hunubero. Oh, I am a Hunubero. Now better, Madu. Oh, Jesus. What I am a Hunubero can watch you go on a gym. I broke my motor never break in a reverse. In case it be what you know I have seen? The kind of house in a gym where good. Oh, what boy over there no big. Architect guess I can have a daughter. Ah yeah 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 yeah. What you know I have seen? You on a gym man adoration minister. Oh, ya kara masin da raba shake it. Oh Jesus. What you know I have seen? Oh Mary and Matthew fourteen. In a na hunu bero. As you just say. At the same as an abo, over there is one million. Sinne, one better than can for an abegi. Agura mambugi, one chuku. Agura mambugi. I saw me like joy, amoma. Where do you get my first king chapter seventeen? Now my wine, where is my second arama? Why I jadu? Oh, go to the why I jadu? Oh, where see your woman or Zarafet, the widow? Anything abegi amango? Eh, when you run chuku again, one na him where? Oh God, I had Jesus. I go a man boogie. I don't get a second king chapter four. Praying with the miracle of Baal Shalisha, Baal Shalisha under Elisha's anointing. I pray with Elisha for the miracle of multiplication. Can I come to the end? Ungo zaya na hunu bero ya biaragi. I come at the na hunu bero ya biaragi. You can marry Madden Angunber, Yabiaragi. Oh, yeah, Chorogi, be a two bolute, Yadanara. Or to contact you get John Boraja. I am a Hunber on a Jim Meregi. A quarter and Wakeku. Now, not oh, the mother doctor told me that, Father, my baby died in my hand. Oh, I'm not about grandma, and I said, I've come, got people who want to clear now, Napo knows. I'm not even know much about it. I'm busy. I want to know. You know where no no no. The doctor must know. I say the baby died in my hand. It's oxygen. I find out we go. No, it's a couple more stages. Ah, but I'm get to born in a temple. No chicha. See Jesus again, or you man. Oh, but then when we get baptism, sometime in a temple of miracle. He can go and the doctor go and open. Or you got your mother ten months. You are full water care under two hours. Next Sunday, you are coming here for the testimony. The child is now healthy. He came back to life. He was brought back to life. Last week. Oh, last week. Miracle that you know I have seen. Resuscitation miracle. From Abuja. Turn to Jesus. Abruchuku adoration. No, 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 Muchi will not be here. Every second, the other man was calling me from Germany. Father Mbaka, do you want me to die? Say, no, nah, please, please. 
I just came back from the morning. Said, no, no, no. The doctor has said the sickness in my wife's liver has gotten to the point she will die. That all the medications have, are now yielding no results. And my own is worse. If by next week, diagnosis shows by x-ray that I will be paralyzed. That my spinal cord has gone. When, my, my, when I'm paralyzed and my wife is dead, what do we do? But I'm back, I call you, God to help me. What can you get them I ran to the temple, back away, Chuku. Say, Biko, can we walk out when you come this week? Imagine, but I say, I will block your number. Every second he's calling. Say, I prayed, say, but my wife, tell my wife that thing you used to tell people. Say, what do I tell people? Other than that she will be healed. He said, that's the way you used to tell them. That thing you used to speak. Say, okay. Tell your wife to put her hands on the liver position. I started praying in the spirit. I started calling Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. I was in the temple facing the Blessed Sacrament. After the whole prayers, I didn't hear the voice again. It was on Sunday evening. After you were there, the man started calling again. He said, What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Jesus. I managed to pick the call. The man started, pray, Praise God that we move from here to Itikumai town. Pray. I said, God bless you. How is it? He said, Father, since that time, do you know my spinal cord is healed? That I am now going to walk, I can run. That it didn't just vanish after that prayer. Hello? We say, what about your wife? Say, immediately that day, the whole liver is okay. That they have gone for tests. And there's nothing again negative found in the liver. That the liver is healthy as a new brand of liver. What no eye has seen. What no ear have heard. Now, has it entered the mind of anybody? What God is packaging for you? The next person to receive the miracle is you. Rabbi said, And the Bible says, in the book of Isaiah, in chapter 66, Rabbi Kata Yarabu Shindarama, in verse number 16, when you are going to invoke blessing on you, invoke the blessings upon yourself with the name of the Lord. I want somebody to put his or her hand on the head. Well, I can do question, you see. Beko ngozi chukuni sigi. Ode ngozi apolafa na Genesis chapter 12. In verse 2 to 3, when God says, I will make you great, no matter what men say, if men said, they will pull you down. God, God says he will lift you up. The language of man is in vain. God will lift you up. If God says he will make you great, and somebody says he will make you small, don't mind what people say. If God says he will make you a Brongdingnagian, and somebody says he will make you a Lilliputian, you can make it take a warty, or to go to the Obunye geno woro ege butigana ramakiri masanda ya kara mashikete baba ramasere baba kirama shanda katara bosinde rebo shikete new miracle what no eye has seen as it happened in Exodus chapter 17 in verse number 6 what no eye has seen and Moses struck a rock rock started to yield water miri we mawa miri we ukute mawa miri Miracle of fertility. And God can increase your fertility. Fertility unction. And he can make the old woman to conceive. And the Bible says in Luke chapter 1 verse 36. And your kiss woman Elizabeth. That people used to call barren. Is now in her sixth month of pregnancy. And verse 37 says, for with God, all things are possible. Under the power of God's possibility, God is going to do for you what you know I have seen, what you know you have heard. Nor has it entered the mind of anybody, what God is preparing for you. For you are one of those who love God. And if God is for you, who can be against you? Fear not, my people, fear not. In Isaiah chapter 41, he says, fear not. I am with you. I will not forsake you. And the Bible says, in Isaiah chapter 43, in verse number 2, even if you are walking through the waters, you will not be drowned. Miriam and Rigi, Miriam and Rigi, Okwam and Rigi, Okwam and Legi, Rabakata and Mashakata. Okay, don't want to go on on Okwam. Ogi ke ebben so Okwam. What happened in Daniel chapter 3? We happened in our own case. Misha Shedra Badnego. We are put in the fire. Rabakata and Mashakata. But in verse 25, the fourth man was in the fire. 
to deliver and to rescue them. And they were rescued miraculously. What no ear had heard. That fire could not burn people. And Daniel was taken to the den of lions in the book of Daniel chapter 6. And the Bible says, throughout the whole night, Daniel did not die. Because in verse 22, God sent his angel. Angel rescued him. What no eye have heard, seen, not no ear have heard. Hear that many better no jim many singing. And Shinaja Mamugi. Over Shinaja do Taragi. Over Ebano Bahagin Abendong. Bato! 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 I got there, Monduga. In your man, on in an unanti. Yabia was the Aragon. Mano were in Kinanu, but on anti. Promotion you have never heard of. Even what is happening in Nigeria now. Romans chapter 8 28 says, What everything worketh together for good unto them that love God. In in an Agan, comma, my able surrenders, EK, or Gaburgi and Gazi. What is happening now is going to be a manure that will enable a lot of plants in this country. A human plants I'm talking about to germinate and grow. They may mean evil, but God will turn the evil for good. As I decree the power of Genesis 50, 20. The mercy of God is coming. The mercy of God is coming. For my fellow countrymen, no matter what Nigeria did, that is bringing about these endless calamities. From one calamity to another calamity, I know that the mercy and love of God is above what you are passing through. Because the Bible says it all in the book of Romans chapter 8. And I bless you in verses 30, 31, and 32. For though he has already predestined us, he equally, just, he equally chose us. And having chosen us, he has equally called us. And he who called us has equally justified us. May he justify us. May he justify Nigerians for good living. And he who has justified us has equally glorified us. And because God is with us, he said, if God is for us, who can be against us? In verse 31 and 32 says, and if if he can give us his son Jesus, will he not give us every other thing besides? Jesus, Jesus, Back to, back to, back to, in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost. Because we cannot continue to keep quiet and be attending your burial ceremonies, burial after burial. Many priests are now busy, like Utopias in the Bible, burying people, because people are dying anyhow. Because of the wicked policy. Any policy that you put my people to the mortuary should be reversed sooner or later. Or those who put it should face the music. You cannot perpetuate your heady anachronism of punishment and suffering of the poor countrymen whom you cannot give good food. You cannot give good job. You cannot give good health facility. And when you are sick, you travel out. Your children, of course, are in the outside the country. You don't care what the poor masses are suffering. Because your own families are not here. Sooner or later, this thing will, is, will be transferred to you. So my fellow people, don't lose hope. Because sooner or later, what no ear have heard. Heaven is coming to tickle somebody. And once you hear this, you must smile. Oh, we're in the end of the day. We're in the end of the day. One year, now we're working for many years. Jeremiah test. Channel fibroid. Nurse, we're in the end of the day. 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 Amen.
Amen. Every can I show one room? Every can I walk in? Every can I quit notice? Somebody will walk in a phone because I go up on only daughter, daughter. He say, "I'm again. Who are you?" I say, "Because now we're here. Every can I forget to hear? New winter duplex." He ain't taking a new number on the agenda. Oh, she may do an agenda. And they will have one agenda. Now, John 11, Lazarus in a jikuni. Amen and amen. He ain't a poor woman, a jiku woman. Oh, yeah, now, what are you Lift your hands and do something for the Lord of hosts. Reba Barama Shindarama. Yeke terebo sende, reba ba shindarama, araba sindarama, yeke reba ba shende, reba ba sa. Do something for God, do something for God, and you'll be surrounded with songs of deliverance. Reba kata, as a blessing, Psalm 32 verse 10. Reba karama shinda, ya kata rama, arama shinda rama man. Reba tuya, 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 tuya. Hey! Ina kuru ya kina mara ye go me wela. Hey! O me wela, o me wela. Hey! Ndo ri na rawo agugo nsa. O ye wela ya ti me ye wela ya kwa jogo na. Hey! Abraham, <laughs> Chief Magistrate, he made a ball there. Ole Maru Chetubona. Ayo, ayo. We are happy. He ain't in a hurry, brother. He can't in a hurry, brother. Kandia na water Nigeria. Chuguge me na ya mara. Chuguge me na we ya. Ayo. Ubu Nigeria, look unto God. He's the author and finisher of our faith. Jesus, Jesus, we. I am a man of I am a man of God. I am a man of What do I have seen? What do I have heard? No, has it been that in mind of anybody? What God is packaging for you? What do you want to do? For my God will supply all your needs. 
Abundantly according to the riches in glory in Christ. J E S U S. To Jesus. Son and the Holy Spirit. Ndia jeju wherever we go, ndia kela wa tonu na mo, a tonu na mo. Koko mo somebody e che ne kere madu na mo. In the Holy Ghost. Ebeni na na baragi zumani maro, oba yera bata neti ti zwa. Let them begin to find themselves. Can they have a busa guy, a busa boy, one higher? On my own, they sit here in the Holy Ghost. Ebe nyanya de, okuma so tabu nyanya, okuma so tabu nyanya. Receive your healing, receive your healing by the power of the Holy Spirit in the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. Be the land to learn and book on. I go go so so don't matter na ba. Oya mane me mane me mau. Adane me mane me mau. Me woro mia. Ezi ba mara ya o. Oh, 
Mama Bakwagi, you know, Jesus. One direction, you know, must you take again, Jesus. I am invoking blessings on you. In Genesis 22, 17, I invoke blessings on you. Aka, Aka, and Chawa, Aka, Aka, and Chawa. You know, Mama, you take Aka. I'm not to go back on our own. Nah, J. E. S. U. N. Jesus. I am Baba Nanchedoki.